Hi everyone, I'm Maya Washington and welcome to Gronish the Kickback where I get to kick it and chat with some of my favorite people from my favorite show, Gronish. Today we've got cast members Jordan Buhat and Trevor Jackson who play Vivek and Aaron, plus show writer Wade Elaine Marcus and executive producer Jenny Henry. Yes. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> okay, so I wanna start off the show with a little game. So this week's episode, Luca's design was ended up being picked by Michelle Obama, but that was in part due to Zoe styling, pairing his dress with some of her fly kicks. So this game is inspired by that, called Pair This, and I'm gonna say a word and you're gonna pair it with what you think is its best pairing. Got it. Okay. Dating and... Drama. <laughs> <laughs> um, complications. Adventure. Mm. New. Heartbreak. <laughs> Drama, heartbreak, dinners, um, DMs, and slide, slide, screenshots, oh. <laughs> secrets. I don't know. Are we allowed to curse? Okay. F boys. Uh, opportunities. <laughs> oh, there it is. Okay, nicely done, guys. Now let's switch gears because I've got some questions about the latest episode. And in this week's episode, we saw a very sensitive side of Luca. Wade, why did you include that in? Well, I think, you know, for the most part, we see Luca very cool, very nonchalant. There's no problems in my life. Everything is, is easy. And he's just been dubbed this genius. And so that's a, that's a heavy crown to wear. That's a heavy title. And so we thought it would be interesting to see what, what does it look like when that gets tested? And how can we show more of who Luca is? How can we show a vulnerable side that happens when you're tested like that? I mean, come on, look at this velour jumpsuit. I'm ready to be as vulnerable as possible. <laughs> how do you handle self-doubt and insecurities, especially being in the limelight? I think just making sure that you're being true to yourself. Being true to yourself as, as, as best as you can and going into whatever situation as prepared and confident as you can because there's gonna be variables no matter what. No matter where you go, no matter what situation you're gonna be in, you can be as prepared as you can be and something perhaps is gonna be thrown at you where you're just gonna have to roll with it. To me, I try and look at it as an indicator for passion mm -hmm. because I know that like with the writing and, and just when we're in there in the trenches in the writer's room, there are tons of moments of like, is this the right way? Is this the best way to do it? And I think when you tap into insecurities at that level, for me, it resonates as passion and I realize how much I love it. And so I think that just means you're going down the right path. Which areas in your life are you most like, insecure or vulnerable, <laughs> rather? I'd say when I'm alone, I'd say. I feel like I find my peace when I'm like helping other people or hanging out or making somebody laugh. And I think the hardest thing I've dealt with in life is just learning to be alone. You know, I, I would say in in my writing, you know, when I'm mm -hmm. when I'm really showing something personal, when we're when we're really like taking a risk by being like, can we have these characters do that? And 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 being like, all right, we're we're venturing into waters here that I don't know how people are going to respond. I don't know if they're going to laugh. I don't know if they're going to be moved. And so that is a moment when you're just like, here we go. Let's just jump off the cliff and see what happens. Jazz and Sky are kind of low key hating on chastity, right? For posting thirst trap photos. Have you been guilty of posting thirst trap photos? I never go into posting a photo really and being like, I'm going in for a thirst trap. I'm looking to trap someone or something. Right. But because I use social media for myself for many different reasons. When I was growing up, I never thought of myself as attractive or anything like that. And so I use it as a really a confidence booster for myself. That's what I feel like your photos are. It's like, this is the work that I'm doing. Yeah. And this is the result. Right. <laughs> but then I do get the, the people saying this this is definitely a thirst trap thing or you you know, you, you see like the little watermarks or whatever. And it's the watermark. The watermark. <laughs> you know the little splash to... water emojis, oh, yeah. right? Favorite highlights from this week's episode. My favorite scene is the one with uh, Dean Charles Telfy, uh, where he's uh, explaining to me his letter to Michelle Obama. I think he's just incredibly talented guy, super funny, and whenever I work with him, I always am just dying of laughter, so. I love seeing Luca struggle mm. for once. Mm. I think it's really interesting to see people who are really good at something, but you know, you usually only see the end product, and seeing them go through the process of what they're doing to get to that really shiny place at the end, 
You know, it's 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 fascinating to me. I love that. I think I would go with um, their their putting it together montage when when basically Luca has almost given up and then he calls her to come back and you see them working. You know, this is really about seeing them take their relationship to the next level mm -hmm. because it's easy to have a good time. They have great chemistry, you know, but it's like they're they're going through something and he had to ask Zoe for help in this moment. And and she came through for him and I think it was it was really cool to see them um, take their thing to the next level. One is the cold open because uh, Wade and uh, the director. Todd Bierman. They did such a lovely job with the cold open. It was so beautiful. We put it to an older song and it just was such a lovely cold open seeing Zoe and Luca in what felt like their kind of honeymoon phase and finally settling into a nice moment in the relationship. And then I always love that we undercut those moments with something, you know, some type of crisis or obstacle for Zoe. That's it from us. Thank you guys so much for coming on the show and joining me. Everyone out there, make sure to tune in next week for the newest episode of Gronish. Then come kick it with your girl, Maya Washington, on Gronish the Kickback. Hey. Hey. Peace.